Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some Europa Universalis 4 as Sweden in our Sweden campaign. Last we left off, I think we're going to declare war on Denmark and call in Lund. I mean, uh, call in Poland. We're going to try and take Lund. So, yeah, words, words. Good things are happening. Good things are happening. Great Monopoly Charters. Okay, so we've got some rebel issues, but um, we had to declare this war because England was allied to um, Denmark, and now he's not. He, he refused to call to arms. So what we're going to do is I think we're going to keep this guy. We're going to send this guy east, and I want to see if I can destroy this Danish force real fast. I'm actually willing to, to, to take that. Let's see. We should have wrecked the Danes. Fuck, man. Really? We actually lost more men than we killed. Jesus Christ. So we're going to come over here. We're going to blockade this. Oh, okay. Okay. Looks like um, our friends over here are going to go take care of this for us. So thank you guys. We've got uh, 32 day siege ticks on this this position because of its local defensiveness. And of course we've got local noble rebels and, and things. But I mean our, our friends are going to come help us. That's nice. That's that's pretty cool. God, I mean that's, that's pretty generous of them. Um, we could possibly take a little more debt here. Okay, so apparently our king just fucking died out of nowhere. The court reduction of Charles X. Charles Gustavus' uh, selection as crown prince came about only with promises of change for pe peasants and burghers in the Reichstag in 1650. Force the nobles to contribute more, align with the lords, or more land to the crown. I don't know, do we particularly have much autonomy? I guess. I'll take the stability, I think. And uh, Poland's got some serious issues. Because Denmark and Liege and the rest of these people are... Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Anyway. All we want to do is just take our provinces. That's what I want to do. We're going to go for Akershus. We definitely want to take most of Norway. Um, I'd, I'd rather have Norway than I think anything else. I mean, I wouldn't mind taking like Gotland or something too, but... Norway is a priority. Taking everything on the mainland from... From uh, Norway, Denmark. Is what we want to do. This guy barely has any siege. Okay, so yeah, you guys go back home. We've got the war goal. We could actually go for Sayland itself. Okay, so we got a 2-3-2, Gustav Adolf. Before we do anything in the HRE, we need to control all of Scandinavia. And, like, Livonia we probably need to take. He's out of Muscovy, but we'll figure that out in its own time. I don't really want to min-max too much, but we really do need to kind of be kind of on top of our game here. Apparently, this guy's at war with France. Oh, yeah, that's right, because he used to be allied to... That's true. He used to be allied to England. That's true. Thank you, Moldavia. You're very kind. All the friends up there helping me out. Do we want to go for Salent? We need, we need like, ten troops for that. Oh, 
Holy shit, that guy's got three siege. You know what? I'll give you Alfred Horn, and I'm going to give you the three siege. We'll send you to Lund. Yeah, I think we want to go for the capital. Capital's worth a lot. Oh, stack white. Oh, stack white. Damn it, Castile. Come on, bro. Okay, Mecklenburg, you leave. At the very least, can you give me some money? All right, give me, yeah, give me war reps then. Fine, give me war reps. Castile, come on though, dude, really. You don't have to deal with this. I'll take care of this. You let me handle it. What the fuck, dude? We have we have the von Mecklenburg dynasty here. Oh, that's right. Because Poland. Huh. Okay. I guess that's fine. Damn it, Castile. Damn, dude, Denmark is getting wrecked. Denmark is getting fucking destroyed. I'm kind of actually hoping we can drag out, this. if we can drag out this war long enough, we can actually probably get this and take Norway in one war. We'd make him a vassal. That'd be pretty interesting. That'd actually be really nice. Fucking hell. So now my amazing three siege general is not being put to use. Because the steel wanted to be a hero. Piece of shit. We'll go for Trondalog. Gotland no longer has a fort, so we can just take that freely. Yeah, he would he would just straight up give that to me, I believe. It's actually 10 development. It's worth quite a bit. I can't do it, can't do return core, can I? Well, it's a session. I don't think I can do return core for myself. But I'm not actually entirely certain. Damn, this guy's getting fucking destroyed. And we still we still have a hundred percent um hundred percent spy power on him. Dude, these Swedish noble rebels, you cannot be serious. Mother of God Almighty. Fucking nobility, man. They just keep coming. Seriously. This is annoying as shit. What was that peace deal, actually? Denmark gave 330 decades to France and its allies. We'll be forced to give France... Okay, so nothing happened with the subjects or anything. I was kind of hoping they would, but... Whatever. I mean, we're not, we're not going to get this institution anytime soon. I mean... At this point, a part of me thinks we should just... Yeah, just, just do this. I can do it three times. We get six corruption. The thing is, is, is the corruption reduces. So we get that. And then the corruption reduces my unrest. So actually, a lot of these guys might even go away. Not a bad deal. Yeah, the corruption corruption is unfortunately expensive, but. I mean, we're already in debt. What, what does it matter? We have 22 day siege sticks against Denmark. Dude, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's actually 
It's actually a lot. Let's see, what's this province here? Inare? Um... I don't really want to go to either of these people. But let me let me let me give it to nobility. That's that's fine, I guess. Whatever. There's there's worse outcomes, I suppose, is a way to put it. Yeah, can we get this anytime soon? I don't think so. I guess it is possible, though. So, I mean, if I can avoid it, I kind of don't really want to core all of this. So we took Sayland. We definitely, we definitely at the very least need the money. Um, we can't vassalize Norway. At least not at this moment. I mean, if, if I was to drag this shit on literally forever. <clears throat> okay, let's, let's say I actually do do this, right? Because we get, we get three splinter per month. So let's let's do the math here. Okay. It's uh we need 800 for that ability minus we currently have 572. So we need 228. 228 more splendor divided by we gain what? 3 per month, right? 3 per month. So we need 76 months. 12 months in a year. So we need to drag out this war for 6 6.33 repeating years. Okay. So we already started this war in 1470. It's 1475. So we don't, we don't have to drag out this war until like 1481 in order to take Norway as a vassal. Right? Just think about that for a second. That's kind of insane. Um, Denmark will release Holstein? No, I'll skip that one. You will give me war reps, though. And you will give me... Damn it, I do want Gotland, though, too. Because we have claims on all of this. Gotland is a core. Fuck you. Oh, so he's going to be born home too? Mm, I'm actually willing to skip that one. I'd rather take up Blondie, I think. I mean, yo, dude, if you want to be unreasonable, you can. I just keep occupying your shit. It's, it's fine with me. Yeah, so we're taking war wraps. 330 ducats. We actually won't get much of it. That's right, Sweden gets most of this. Sweden's actually got more protect- or Poland. Poland will get most of this. This means actually money doesn't make sense. But this is getting into coalition territory. Hmm. Not really. Um, we're skipping born home. I need everything to be connected to me because I can't guarantee I can't guarantee that um, We'll be able to have a navy that can get to uh, overseas provinces So we have to have everything close to me Danish pretenders Okay, there we go. Okay, so we've taken, we've, ex we've conquered Skinia. We want to protect Norway. Okay, reduce the army maintenance, I think. A little bit of inflation, let's buy that down. Swedish noble rebels, it's unfortunate, but we do have them. 
Um, seek the support of the clergy. Let's see. Let me get a minister here. Let me get an inquisitor. Kind of want to make a generous donation and demand those that administrative points. Yeah, because we need we need to core this stuff. We need to get these coring underway. We're still paying pretty ghastly prices on some of this. Or, um, pretty ghastly interest. <clears throat> okay, so... Um, these forts. I think we, we may want to get rid of one of the Trondalog. And here. Three. So this defends three provinces. This defends one, two, three, four, five. So I mean, this place can go. And then we still have the one in Abo. Ah, oh, really, dude? I took more fucking dent. Apparently, a civil war can happen. Apparently, uh, we're going to have a civil war. Unless, um, legitimacy is at least 75. We have a regency council. Or we're currently in a disaster. Uh, I don't like the sound of any of that. God, admit, none of that sounds good to me at all. See if we can get this king killed because then we would get a, a regency council and an heir that's that will bring our legitimacy back up. Not really sure if it's gonna work out well for us, but who knows? Let's see, overextension is at least 10% plus one. So, Gotland, yeah, Gotland actually, um, okay. Okay, so Skein. Um, that can go to either the burgers or the clergy. Look at development cost, trade efficiency. It's the Skein market, it's local goods produced. It produces fish though, so that's not that's not a big deal. It's got a local sailors modifier. The clergy increases my tax, but it, it is it is actually making at this level of autonomy, it's actually making more production income than it is anything else. So I guess we'll just we'll just bump that up there. We need to upgrade to Alaska again because it's got that local goods produced from the copper. Copper is actually worth quite a bit. I think it comes I think it becomes the, uh, worth even more later. If I remember correctly. So we will destroy Norway in some war very close in the future. I'm kind of hoping the Livonians take some territory here, so he's going to break his alliance. Livonian conquest of Ing Merlin. Yeah. Finally, Jesus Christ, nobility are loyal. I'm going to get that indulgence there for the legitimacy per year. Let's keep relations high. Yeah, we're going to want to take this. We're going to want to go for the new world, possibly. But, I mean, our primary concern is here in Europe because we want to, we're going to take the line of the North achievement. 
Where is that achievement, actually? Uh, start of Sweden, lead the Protestant League to victory against the Emperor. Yeah. So we will have to become, you know, um, we will need to be Protestant. So our first idea group, I don't, I don't really know exactly. It, it might be humanist or it might be religious. I actually really don't know. Not really sure how I feel about that. I mean, humanist would be pretty nice. <laughs> Not lying. Humanist is pretty cool. Humanist is humanist is extremely powerful. Um, religious, yeah, de depends. I mean, I, I don't know. Depends on who you are. Possibly, possibly, you might even go for something military in nature. Like aristocratic is always good. Aristocratic is amazing. That fucking minus ten percent military technology cost is just godlike. Quality is good because we have the infantry combat ability. That's why quality is good. But at this moment, we're not really generating too much. Okay, so Skane is, Skane is no longer, um, this guy's actually still a pretty decent general, so let's see how this goes. Uh, okay. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna keep that fort in Lund. Um, where's my navy? Navy's over here. Okay, so we need to... Let's get some galleys. Let's get just like five transports. Um, also to button. Let's see, local goods produce modifier. I don't think Danzig's opinion of us really matters. Poland's does. But I gotta admit, Danzig's not so much. Okay, so we're, we're running out of corruption because we do have quite a bit. We got positive stability. We're not ahead on tech, though. So part of me thinks we should start grabbing some advisors. They're, they're expensive. They are. Trade efficiency. I mean, there's a morale of armies guy here. We do need the points. I mean, to be fair, we do need the points. I think I might be able to attack. Because this guy, this guy wants this territory, doesn't he? Yeah, we might be able to attack this guy. Alright, let me grab the Morale of Armies guy. Um, let's see. Base production in Skane and Elfsborg. That's pretty nice. I like, I like the points. It's free points there. Forts are expensive, man. State maintenance advisors. The advisors are nice for the points, but they are expensive. Okay, so I think I do want to possibly attack the Livonians at some point. I think the Muscovites... He's expanding east, but I'm, I'm telling you, I think he's going to turn hostile... Yeah, we don't we don't need any more spike power construction, I think, for now. Um, I don't really think I want to attack over here. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, that legitimacy right there, dude. 75% chance this fucking guy Gustav von Adolf or Gustav Adolf von Mecklenburg would die, but he didn't. He's right, bitch. <laughs> he didn't die for shit. Okay, so we have uh, we have some pretty decent forcemen now available. Um, we might kick it up to to four cav, but I don't know. Not sure entirely how I feel about that. Skane is extraordinary. 
extraordinary um, unrest. It's 21 development. Holy shit, dude. That is crazy. 21 development there. That is awesome. Um, let's let's hold off on advisor. We do need the advisors. We do need the points, but it's just we're spending a lot of money here. So yeah, we're spending a lot of money here. So I mean, if I, if I have the opportunity to attack this guy with little interference from Muscovy, I'll take it. You know. And so far, Muscovy, I mean, he's, it looks like he has some debt issues. Poland, I mean, we're getting some we're getting some favors with this guy. It's not bad. I mean, I can't I can't rival Muscovy apparently. It won't let me. Kind of interesting. And then we can declare war. Oh my god, no way, dude. Those pretender rebels just enforce their demands on Norway. Which means we attack his ass in 1490 and he fucking dies. Yep, change government form, broke free, and he's got a new monarch. Excellent. That's perfect. That will be a full annexation of Norway. <clears throat> I'll take that aggressive expansion impact. Muscovy is in some pretty serious debt. He's got 37,000 men with 57 enforcement, but he's got some crazy debt. Do you need the money? I'll grab, I'll grab the reform desire, though. The faster, I guess, we become Protestant, I mean, the better, I guess. Sort of, kind of. <laughs> sort of. We do want more galleys. We do want more galleys. We do need more money. Um, Like I said, we, we might bump... We may bump up the army to, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. So slowly and slowly and slowly, we're gonna want to pull territory from anything that's not grain provinces. We want to pull from the nobility. Slowly and slowly and slowly, if we can get it. It's like here, these guys get pretty pissed. So we we can we can pull this. You know, it's so like, we don't want them to have... Well, they can have that. They can have that. They We don't want them to have this. By seven. Yeah, Varmland. We don't want them to have... Um, we don't want them to have Kalmar. I'm willing to give them Abo, though. That's fine. They can have Abo. Because that's Grain Provinces. Yeah, slowly and slowly, we want to pull, pull from them. We want to reign in their power. The nobility and the and the clergy are going to be our friends, or the uh, the burghers and the and the clergy. Okay. So there's Muscovy. Let's see. Who hates Denmark? Okay, so Denmark, Norway are allied to each other. That's going to, you know. Well, we'll have to attack Norway, and then we'll simultaneously have to kill Denmark. We'll fully annex Norway in 1490. Um, 
Yeah, Brand who dislikes Brandenburg? Livonians do. Thing is, is, is Muscovy seems... Muscovy seems fairly steady in his devotion to Livonians. Which is going to cause some issues for us. I think we'll take this yearly prestige. Let's see here. So we have um, bureaucracy, decentralized bureaucracy, or the monthly autonomy change. We'll take the monthly autonomy change. Almost always, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the way to go. I really don't see much point going for anything else. Take that. Trade efficiency? Yeah, doesn't really do anything for us. We don't really collect anything from here. I mean, transferring trade power is nice. It's just we don't get anything really. So, and then we're still we're still paying off the loans. We have about 506 decades of debt. Not bad. Not bad considering. I mean, how we're doing now. This, I mean, we're, we're doing pretty good. You know. Let's see, Fraud Moth has corrupt connections? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have him leave. Um, yeah, I'll take some Dipple Rep, that's fine. Could be worse. And then the, the... But we have unbalanced research, so corruption's increasing. Corruption, I mean, it's helping us out with the national arrest and stuff, so. I wish I could grab that, that missionary strength guy to convert some stuff. But conversions is not really high on the list at the moment. We could rival Muscovy now. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's see, apparently Trondalog we can make into a state. Give this to the burgers. Okay, so we have common rivals. Enemy of enemy, yeah. King Jan the first von Habsburg. So I, I don't think we need as much, I'm not entirely certain we need as much spy power against Denmark for, for the time being. Um, I actually think I, I will, let's see, Desires of the Flesh. Yeah, King Christian I recently discovered that his wife, Queen Consort Hedwig, is having an affair. Yeah, it's fine. Spilling cost modifier. Well, I mean, we're still making a little bit of money. Let's let's leave it. Eh, well, I do need the points. Yep, let's take let's take it. Let's take it. Fourteen eighty five. Force is coming up pretty pretty considerably. So yeah. But uh, I just I need I need to pay some of this debt off before I think we before we enlarge. The military, I think we need to pay some of this debt off. That's just the way that I see it. So every month we have a 16% chance of increasing our support for our air in Poland. Um, Austria's got 20%, Brandenburg's got 21 Okay. Not too bad. Really? We took another fucking loan, dude? How? Why are we losing so much money all of a sudden? Son of a bitch. I 
I mean, I guess because we're doing okay on points here, we probably don't need these guys. I think I definitely need it for Diplo or for admin though. And and I don't think I'm being unreasonable there. Let's see Sweden. One to eleven percent chance. I'm not really entirely sure. I've always found it interesting how exactly this this improving diplomatic reputation relations with the country will increase this chance. So diplo rep. Oh, that's kind of curious. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's worth it for now. I don't think it's really worth it. Could be, but just I don't see it at this present moment because we got a lot of stuff to pay for. We still, we're still getting this corruption down, so we got to get rid of that. But um, at least we're going to be getting an idea group here. I think military will be the way to go. Um, offensive is cool. Offensive would work out well. I think offensive quality and aristocratic. Offensive quality, aristocratic. But in that order. Hmm. So an another part of me thinks that we should do religious or humanist. Primarily because of what's going to happen when we do convert to Protestantism. I mean, we're going to be going through a lot of instability. But um, considering we're ahead on tech right now. The diplomat's nice. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I I always usually go aristocratic. I think I'm going to go offensive today, but I usually almost always go aristocratic. Poland declared war on Hungary and Austria. That's a little scary. He's allied with Brandenburg, though. That's kind of curious. Yeah, so we attack, we attack in 1490. Denmark is pretty weak now, but we, we might have to worry about the Muscovites getting some ideas. Okay, so Denmark, okay. So Denmark is the new people controller. That's not good. Okay. So Austria is the new HRE. Well, he's, he's still the HRE. He maintains his position. Okay, so Danzig was annexed by Poland. Looks like so far, I think Poland is losing this war. Yeah. Yeah, he may he may have uh, may have been off more than he can chew. Denmark enforces a sound toll. Okay. Apparently, Norway allied Verden. Wow, we actually, we made quite a bit of money from the clergy being loyal. It's kind of a big swing in the opposite, or in the wrong direction. Yeah, we make some pretty decent money now. Hmm. If I was to make like a generous donation... Yeah, if loyalty is above 60... It's the body cost modifier and yearly people influence. Hmm. 
Not bad. Let's see, as for contribution here, trade efficiency. We don't really make that much money from trade. I mean, I'm not, yeah, I'm really not sure that that trade efficiency is all that helpful. Um, let's see. The cavalry are just extremely expensive. Jesus Christ. I think I will stick with the infantry for now. Cavalry just insanely expensive. So we're going to completely destroy... I don't know. We're we gonna completely destroy Nor um, Norway right now. I mean, I want to. You know, and I mean, Denmark doesn't like me, so Muscovy is he's probably still in debt. I think. Inflation is a little painful. Let's see, what's the siege ability? Wow, this guy's got three siege still. Okay. So we can take Acardius pretty fast. That's a full occupation there, and then we'll just have to move for Sailand. We don't have a navy with which to compete against the Danish, though. And it is unfortunate. Take that early, I guess. Okay, all right. We'll declare this war in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and um, consider supporting the channel on Patreon and buy YouTube memberships and and such. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.